My dad can beat up your dad. Dad fights. I'm Adam. And I'm Jeremy. This is Dad Fights. Dad Fights. All right, and welcome to the post fight show for reading Rage Bow. It was a, a good match that Tim Reed really brought the pain as uh, Raymond Campbell, Mr. Kimball. <laughs> Mr. Campbell, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, they both brought it. Both uh, Reeds brought the fucking pain, man. Yeah, There's some did. high attacks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Highest roll in a match ever. Hi- Highest match ever. Highest most damages. Reading Rage Bow. <laughs> Reading Rage Bow. <laughs> it was a good one, man. And you're, those those crazy you know, kicks, Mr. Campbell kicks, man. He's kicking ass. I all know. Over the place. It was just he must have been hanging out, you know, with uh, Dalsim, just practicing those sweet kicks. Maybe Chun Li. Chun Li. There you go. Those fucking big old thunder yeah. thighs. Oh, but I love those things. She could crush my face like a watermelon or a walnut. <laughs> <laughs> like a walnut. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's a fun fact. Did you know they did, uh, like, an anime show about uh, Street Fighter? Yes. Yes, I did. And it's actually really good. Or I'm getting that... No, it is is really good. Yes. I heard that you see Chun-Li's tits. Is that true? I can't remember. It was, like, 2000 when I watched it. Oh. So they weren't memorable. No. Oh. The the cartoon titties, so, you know. I mean, now you can... You can probably uh-huh. see like eighteen thousand different versions of them. CGI. That's true. I do have yeah, Google. Just, yeah, because yeah. you know those nerds out there who make that kind of stuff. I'm trying to think. Oh, you got to meet my friend Brian. He does. Uh, he's the guy that did all the uh, the Marvel posters I gave oh, you. Oh, cool. All right. But uh, now he does like a heavy metal style comic, like a sci-fi fantasy. With giant juggy ladies. Nice. I was always a fan of the heavy metal comics. Yeah, me too. I follow their their thing on Instagram to see what the new artists are coming up with. Oh, well, oh granted, there's always big ass titties in it, but I always did appreciate the artwork in heavy metal comics when I was a kid. Yeah, dude, it's very like who's the guy that did um like the concept art for Alien? Oh, H. R. Geiger. Geiger, Geiger. Geiger? Yeah, it's like a lot of it's like that meets uh, Lord of the yep. Rings. So you get a, and then every, a mishmash of sci-fi fantasy. And, and then every once in a while, they'll throw in something crazy and perverted from like, kind of like Harry Crumb, the guy who uh, created Fritz the Cat. And if you don't, R. Crumb? Yeah, R. Crumb. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for correcting me. But yeah, they always had some weird perverted yeah. thing in there. Speaking of perverted things, I watched a uh, YouTube video about uh, the guy that drew the original Duck or the original Ducktales comics. The comics or the cartoon? And I guess he used to the old school comics, okay. like not the cartoon, like what was what the uh, original Ducktales, the show was yeah, based yeah. off of. But I guess that dude used to draw like a perverted cartoon called what was it? Like the Eye something that. I was Googling it earlier. It's called, you know what? I'm too lazy to look for it. But it's like a 1920s perverted magazine, and it's pretty funny. You know, I'm going to find it for you. Yeah, now, now I'm intrigued. Now you got to tell me. Yeah, dude, it's it's actually really funny. It's like Mad Magazine, but like 1920s perverts. Hang on, let's go to history. <laughs> actually, let's not go to history. <laughs> <laughs> Who Googled Dolly Parton's boobs? <laughs> Who would do that? She's like 75. <laughs> you, sir, have a problem. I also looked for Jane Mansfield. Do you know who that is? Why does it sound familiar? Because it's Law & Order SVU's mom. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. She was, she was like a bombshell in the 50s. Yep. Sweet, sweet. Jugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, Valentine. 
Valentine's Day gift ideas. Oh my god, how many how many pages did I go through this? It's like maybe my thing's broken. Two broke girls. Uh lawsuit subway claims. Something I googled. Did you hear about that? No. So uh it was like two weeks ago, the state of California suing Subway because uh, they're saying it's not real tuna. Oh, I could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> now they're doing like, uh, Subway's doing like 50% off Subway tuna sandwiches. And I'm like, you know what? I like Subway's tuna. I'm going to take advantage of that. You can shit right for a week, Adam. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Um, the magazine's called The Eye Opener. Oh. The Calgary Eye Opener. Oh. Yeah, you should Google it. It's uh, they're like funny comics for adults, written in like the 1940s. So everybody looks like um, like Blondie. Okay. From the Sunday papers, Blondie. Is it super perverted? And yeah, and like it's like uh, they're always saying funny stuff, and it's it's actually funny. Like the artwork is really funny. Like it's very like, like you've seen R. Crumb's yeah, comics. Yeah. It's like that humor, okay. like, yeah, you I, you'll like it because I went on a deep dive for it and I love it, and I know you'll appreciate it. Sure, I will. All right, I got it written down here. Calgary. Oh Calgary yeah. Eye opener. All right, man. Well, uh, you know, we do the two seconds of talking about the fight in the post show, and then <laughs> yeah, go on, go on a deep dive of what I was googling and. Why I need therapy. Right, and then now we, we got throwing some Robocop quota. We we always got to. Um, I got nothing. Oh, we'll, 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 th- we'll think of something because yeah. we still got what? Mad Libs. And we got to announce next week's uh, Juicy Pex matchup. Yeah, I always get excited about Mad Libs. I just want to get them done right away. Okay, yes, we should definitely talk about th- this next episode. is going to be my favorite because the, the Meta Dad is actually one of my favorite. One of my favorite actors, man. Fucking love this guy. He's never steered me in the wrong direction because he's fucking hilarious. Um, Adam and I, we're going to be doing the metadata of Terry Crews. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mr. Expendable. Flashy. What else jumpy pecs. Yeah, jumpy Old pecs. Old in. He has a game show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. And then we're gonna do the dads from uh well yeah uh fuck I got here I'll I'll look up his name I I haven't seen that show in so long but he's basically he's a dad in Brooklyn Nine Nine and everybody hates Chris now since you won which uh which one are you gonna take I'll take Chris Rock's dad okay I'll I'll take the Nine Nine all right sounds good with me and then Brooklyn Nine Nine I'm trying to remember what his name was I can't, I can't fucking remember. Oh, yeah, I'm not connected to the internet. I forgot. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Um, Brooklyn. Okay, I turned it off because of my recording issues. 99 nine, Terry. Terry Cruz. There we go. Lieutenant Terry Jeffers. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'll, I'll take that one. That's good. And I already. Terrence Vincent Jeffers. I already have, like. But his boys call him Terry. I already have a, a bunch of cool attacks. So I'm. This will this will be a good nice. episode. I'm gonna make it proud for Mr. Terry Crews. You know what? I'm also gonna. I know we haven't done it with a lot of the dad fights, but I think this one in particular, because uh, he like answers to his stuff a lot. I'm gonna tag him on it. Maybe 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 we'll get a buzz. We'll see what happens. Cause he maybe. he's a he's a big maybe. fucking nerd. So we get, we gotta do it right. We gotta practice that one. We gotta get this that show good. We gotta go shoot. We gotta do show yeah. good. We gotta make it funner. And use words like that. You got got. You got to do good. Do it. Do it good. We're good. We're good kids. We got to do it. All right, man. But yeah, I'm super uh, excited for that one. Uh, Like I said, I already have a a bunch of cool attacks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jack Kay was in uh, Everybody Hates Chris. Yeah, wasn't she like the grandma? Was she? I got to rewatch the show. I know the mom was Pam from uh, Martin. Mm hmm. I think she was either that or like. Was she the, one of their moms or one of their fellow co-workers? Wise black lady on the street? I can't remember. She was in Martin, and uh, <laughs> Google says she was in a 
our favorite movie, <laughs> Wild Hogs. <laughs> oh man, that's where are they? You know the movie where, uh, where Tim Allen and Martin Lawrence and uh, and don't forget the Frank Gallagher was in that uh, that movie too. I totally forgot that he was in it. William H Macy. That's yeah. right, and Ray Liotta. Yep, Ray Liotta. He's a bad guy, right? John Travolta, and they're just smushing their dicks <laughs> together. Smushing their dicks together for for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, they sound like wet spaghetti at the end. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was a lot, a lot of just uh, wild wild hogging it. I don't even know how we landed on wild hogs, but uh. Yeah, look out next week. We got Terry Crews, and he's probably going to do something funny. Probably, with his pecs. Make make a funny face. Yep. And then uh, he's going to lift some weights. And uh, I'd like to see him fight The Rock. That would be a good fight. It would be. It'd be fantastic. My money's on Terry Crews. Oh, fuck yeah, me too. Take that, Maui. Even though The Rock... Was a wrestler. He was. That's true. But Terry Crews is a badass. Didn't he play football? Nah, that's true. They both played football, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Did you see they're making a rock show? Like, like everybody hates Chris, but it's The Rock. So everybody hates The Rock. When he's a kid? Yeah. So it's pretty much going to be Malcolm in the Middle, but they're black. That's cool. Samoan, you mean? I don't know. I'm just making. I'm just making assumptions. I don't. I don't know what the show's about. I just heard that they're making so, this so show. So they're making a show about Little Rock. So it's called Pebbles, <laughs> the Pebble. Yep, Pebble, Little Rock on the Prairie. See what the Pebbles microwaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. <laughs> That'd be a good show, man. Like it wasn't his dad and grandpa like pro wrestlers. Yeah, they both so. were. Yeah. 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 It'll be a. It'll be a fun wrestling. Yeah. Wrestle boy, he's the fucking rock, so you can't go wrong, man. He's, he's he's a good dude, yeah. All around, he's my favorite person. That's the person I aspire to to be the most, besides uh, besides Frank Costanza, that that dude. Mine's uh, Frank Costanza and the Rock, and the Fonz, those are my idols. Nice. Mine's Frank Reynolds from It's Always Sunny. Danny DeVito. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that's that's the one. That's 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 the guy, the garbage man himself. <laughs> the garbage man himself. Is it, are we gonna are we gonna do like a, a season of Bad Dads? Because I remember I remember I mean, we were talking about it, but do we? Are there really that many bad fucking dads out there? And there's a ton of bad dads. That's why CPS is a thing. That is true. <laughs> Deadbeat dads, I guess. <laughs> You're talking t- TV show, dead, bad dads. Bad dads. I mean, he's not a bad dad. He's an awesome dad to Charlie. Yeah, he is good to Charlie. But yeah, he's got to fight somebody. I was going to suggest Frank Gallagher from Shameless, because those are both like same kind of caliber of dad. Yeah, I like it. But you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go that path, because we already got... Tons of content we're already gonna do. So, yeah, we got we got we have a whole cartoon season, cool world season. And then I guess we'll do bad dads after that. Yeah, if we're still if around we're <laughs> by season five, we'll be around. Yeah, we will. That's if they'll let us post stuff on the internet anymore. I don't yeah, by know. that time it'll be. They might see my Google history and. Uh, <laughs> Kind of panic. I know, by that time, we'll all have chips, so we can just easily That's true. put in everyone's brains. Yeah, and then they can just beam in images so I can Google stuff while I sleep. Thanks, Elon Musk. <laughs> You'll never sleep again, sir. I know. I mean, I rarely I feel like I don't sleep enough now. But uh, it's worth it. You, know. you might as well get your Google tattoo now. Just get it over with. Get branded. Yeah. What happened to Yahoo and Netscape Navigator? They got eaten up by Google. Yeah, they did. But uh let's do some mad libs. Let's get uh let's get creative All right, here. So uh you know, we, we don't really have a theme song. Well we kinda do. We stole it. 
So, uh, yeah, just do the whole Wayne's World Mad Libs, Mad Libs, party time, adjective. Adjective. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. All right, so um, once again, I'll be the uh, conductor of the Mad Lib, and this one is, I'm not going to say the name, I almost did it again. But uh, we'll start off the bat. I'm going to start with you first, Adam. Can I have a silly word? Silly word. Let's go with um, like a verb. Just any silly, silly word. word. Bucka bucka, wuzzle wazzle, something. Oh. Um, spanky. Spanky. That is a silly word. I like it. <laughs> um, next one is adjective. I will go with, well, since you said spanky, I'll go with sticky. All right. All right, sir. I need Spanky, sticky. I need a noun, please. Let's go with a uh, hot dog. <laughs> hot dog. All right. Uh, mine is name of a person, a male. I have to just do a male name. I'm going to go with. Well, you got to do Tim Reed. I mean, we just, we just did a Tim Reed episode. All right, we'll do Tim. Reed. <laughs> I'll do his full name. <laughs> All right, I need a plural noun, please. Plural noun. Let's go with boobies. Because uh, if you didn't know, we're 12 years old. <laughs> we're 12 year old kids. All right, I have an adjective. Yeah. I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to go with adjective. I'm going to go. Difficult. Difficult. That's a good one. Thank you. Um, Adam? This is going to be hard for you, but I need a person in the room. Oh, jeez. Um, I'm alone in the timeout corner, so I'm going to say Terry Crews. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do an adverb, and I'm going to do with boldly. Boldly. To boldly go where no Terry Crews has come before. Yeah. Plural noun, sir. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a noun. I'm going to go with... Mm, I'm going to go with chicken. Chicken. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Adjective, please. Floppy. Sloppy? Floppy. Fl like them big old... Floppy. No, I like sloppy. <laughs> Them sloppy boys. Sloppy boys? All right. Sloppy. All right. Sloppy. Now, I have an... Big old sloppers. I have an adjective, so I will take your sloppy, or your floppy. Floppy. Oh. There we go. Floppy. I like yeah, Big old floppers. <laughs> big old floppies. Uh, <laughs> I know this is totally off subject and all, but there's this <laughs> game I'm playing. It's called Rad, and it's basically... Um, is it a BMX game with no, Courtney Cox? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I just hit the microphone. No, unfortunately, um, it's it's not. It's basically there's been two apocalypse that's happened, and the second one, you there's like tons of radiation, which is rad. That's that's where it's from. But they do everything like super eighty style, and uh, I like it. I like it already. And say no more. I'm in. Well, they they have like uh like. I wouldn't say a narrator, but he is kind of a narrator. But when you grab something, he'll say it. And then you have like, you grab, because it's 80s theme. So you grab floppy disks for like keys to open up things. And every time you grab one, every once in a while, he'll go floppy. And it's just hilarious. So, all right. <laughs> Moving on. Floppy. I told you, to totally off subject, but yeah, floppy. All right. Um, I need a noun, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Hang on. Um, Courtney Cox was not in the movie Rad. It's Lori Loughlin, a.k.a. Aunt Becky. It was Aunt Becky, huh? Huh. Yeah, I always thought it was uh, Courtney Cox. But Courtney Cox, she was in uh, Masters of the Universe. She was in Masters of the Universe. Dude, do you know that they have like a keyboard that kind of looks like that Masters of the Universe's key? Wait, what? Oh, dude, this was like years ago. This was like back when I lived in Surprise. But like I went on a YouTube hole about crazy musical instruments, and there's like a... You play it kind of like how you play the key in Masters of the Universe, and like it was just basically like a like a synth keyboard, but like set up like that. Dude, that's awesome! It didn't look yeah. it didn't look just like it. Like it was like plastic looking, but it had like I don't know. I'll I'll try and look it up and like if I can find it. I mean that, that's like a whole of something I looked at like fuck twenty years ago. So I don't know. Well, no, not twenty, about fifteen years ago. 
<clears throat> you know, when the the internet was still a, a sweet young baby, you, you little baby, just a little guy, just a, just a little guy. I think YouTube wasn't even conceived yet. Um, it was not okay. It was 2010. I'm sorry, because it was when I just moved to Surprise. Because I remember. Oh, the internet was. It was on our phones at that time. In, in full force. Yeah, yeah. We were good. And it was like. Yeah. Had the Facebooks and all that stupid shit. So, it, yeah, I have to find it. I'll be able to find it. I'll try. I don't know. It's going to be weird keywords. Keyboard that looks like the one from Master Universe. Go. <laughs> Go. And search. There's four of them. <laughs> hey. All right, sir. Uh, noun, please. Give me a motherfucking noun. Mmm. Need a good noun. Eat the goddamn waffle, Adam. Mm hmm. Mm. I need a, a good noun. A good, just a good solid noun. Yeah, like, Let's go with. Yeah, good one. A good one? Um, Dolly Parton's big old fake flappers. Okay. Can you, is oh, that yeah. too many? No, it, it's in that's there. a plural. That's a plural. Now. We're gonna do it. Dolly Parton's big old. Okay. How about big old flapper, not flappers? So we're just flapper. That sounds. We're just talking about terrible. <laughs> so you got to pick something else. Then. Just put. Just put flapjack. Okay. Flapjack. Got it. All right, and I have a number. I'm gonna go with my favorite number, ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Remember 99 Bananas? No, uh, not Agent 99 from Get Smart. Always had the hot swirl when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Well, who didn't? Yeah, really, who didn't? She was hot. Who, All right. Who was... What? Didn't they remake... Yes. Get Smart? Yes, they did. And who plays her? Um, why do I want to say Anne Hathaway? Hang on, let me check. I can look on my phone. Because I have the IMDB app. Thanks, technology. Get smart. Oh, you think you're right. It's Anne Hathaway. Oh, yep, Anne Hathaway. There she is. But see, that's that's a good oh. Agent 99 because she ain't bad looking either. All right, sir. I need a silly word. Silly, a silly word. Oh, I'm sorry. Same silly Slap. word. Never mind. It's same silly word, spanky. Uh, I would need a noun oh, from you, sir. Spanky. Another noun. Yep. This is the noun so, to end them all. So, so. Oh, it's one noun. It's got to be. Uh, it's got to be fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right, sir. Are you ready? <laughs> this one's gonna be pretty fucking funny, I think. Okay. <clears throat> Hang on. Let me drink some water. Clear my throat. Got to get ready for this. All right. It's not. You should just take a shot. Me me mo 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 ma ma. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Okay. Are you ready, sir? Ready. This Mad Lib is called Star Truck. It is a parody of your favorite Star Trek. Hey. We didn't put any Star Trek names in it. What the fuck? Oh, you said boldly. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I did. Holy shit. Yeah, I did. I did. Cool. That works. All right. Are you ready, sir? Ready. Okay. Here we go. Dear Mr. Spanky, my favorite TV show is that sticky adventure in outer space called Star Hot Dog. <laughs> you and Captain Tim Reed are my favorite boobies. <laughs> nice. When I watch this difficult show, I sometimes feel I am actually on the starship Terry Crews. I am going, yeah. I am going boldly into those far balls of the universe <laughs> where no chicken has ever gone before. <laughs> this one gets good. Okay. Well, okay, hang on. I got to get my composer here. Okay. I like it when the sloppy aliens try to trap you and your crew and you use your floppy logical mind to outsmart them. <laughs> I go to all the star flapjack conventions and buy all the little toys and dolls, even though I am 99 years old. But the real reason I wrote to you, Mr. Spanky, is because I want you to send me an autographed fuck. Nice. <laughs> and you know what? I would watch this star hot dog show. 
if it's, especially if Tim Reed's the captain of a starship named the Terry Crews. And it's basically Terry Crews, and like when he shoots photons of the lasers out, he like it's his pecs. They come out of his pecs. Yeah. Pew pew pew. Yeah, I do. We still haven't filled our Robocop we- quota. Oh my gosh. Um Robocop's great. Baby food. Robocop is, is bitches great. Leave. He's baby food, he likes justice, bitches leave, and uh that watermelon guy who gets Dead, smashed up against yeah, the windshield. Yeah, and, he, and Ray Wise is in that. He makes a funny face he does, the whole time. He does make a funny face the whole time. <laughs> He's like, I'm a bodic boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, do you have any uh, final thoughts, Jerry Springer style, to, to end this post show about Mr. Reed beating on his rage bow? Beating. Beating on that rage, Bo. I, I, I got nothing. No, Adam. Oh, man. No. Okay, so whether it's being in space with the star hot dogs, whether it's riding in this Terry Crews ship, just remember that when it comes to reading rage bows, watch out for them kicks. But don't take my word for it. Dead fights. Dead fights.